Hello so guys, today I'm gonna show you what you can do to fix your Streamlabs OBS if your quality is really bad while recording or the resolution is really bad once you stop the recording and stuff like that and rewatch it. So first off guys, what you wanna make sure of is that your settings are correct. So go over to your settings and now you wanna go over to video over here. And what you wanna do is, let's just say that you have a display of 1080p. So you want to also get 1080p on your display. So make sure it's the same with your display and your output resolution also has to be the same with your base resolution. So don't keep it like on 1440 and uh, the base resolution like on uh, lower or something like that. So always keep these both the same guys and that could actually fix your problem. And let's just say that you like mine display is actually 1440 so I'm gonna change it back to here. So let's just say guys that you have it's on the base resolution 1440 and on the output resolution you have like 720. I'm gonna show you what actually happens if you do this. So now let's just go ahead and start a recording and I'm gonna do some random stuff and also make this a screen a bit bigger like this so you can see guys. So the screen over here looks pretty good but don't let that fool you guys. Once you rewatch your gameplay, I mean your uh, recording, it's gonna look really bad. So now, I, now I'm gonna stop the recording and now let's just watch our video. So let's just see how it looks like. So that actually looks really bad. Like honestly, that looks really bad. I can barely even read that. Like guys, you can even also test that out by yourself. But on my screen, it doesn't really look well. I can't even read some of them. So I'm just gonna get this closed off and I'm gonna delete this. That was horrible. So let's just go back to our settings and get back to our normal settings. So keep this the same guys with your base resolution always. And don't go over to 1080p if your display is not supporting 1080p. So, I mean, if it's not your, uh, supporting like 1440, so make sure also of that. And also get your common FPS values a bit up, like maybe to 60, or if you can get it more up to like 120, you can also do that like on here. You can like choose your FPS autom like manually. And now let's go over to our other setting. It, I think it was over advanced. Yes, it was. Now what you wanna do is you wanna go back to here all the way back and you want to go to network and you want to get dynamically change bitrate when dropping frames while streaming. So this is kind of good for the people that also stream. So what's going to happen is once your internet connection goes a bit down or your internet connection gets a little bad, your uh, frames are not going to drop guys. What's going to happen is the bitrate over here, once I go to output, go to advanced, this over here is gonna drop automatically a little bit, but once your internet connection gets like a bit better, it's gonna go back to its original state on bit rates. So this is also one uh, something that you can use, really useful actually for the people that stream and have issues like frames dropping and stuff like that. So this is basically how you can fix your quality for the people that record and for the resolution also so thanks for watching guys i hope you like the video and also subscribe that really helped me out and you can follow me at twitter and instagram i'll leave a link in the description down below so take care guys and goodbye and you can also follow i actually you can join my discord server take care